For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious face-off. Five runs, eight hits, one error. They left an even 20 men on base. For the curve, one run, four hits, two errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Great job. Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double A Eastern League. Tonight, game two of this four game weekend set. Number 24 is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right handed hitters. Right handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right handers step into the batter's box. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a swing and a miss, says, oh my goodness. He loses the shillelagh on that one. Look out. Stays alive, still 0-2. Missed with a breaking ball. Game time temperature here in even 60 degrees. Still one and two. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. Two and two the count. He pulls this one into right. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. I mean, you couldn't ask any more out of a leadoff hitter. You have two jobs, to get on base and to work the pitcher as much as you could. And he executed both those to a take. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really... 
Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game, and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Full count still. The next 3-2. He swung on and missed strike three. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their run. Hit to short. And the throw is wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. And we'll have to see how they want to score that play. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. And now, Duncan Chan. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Strike three called. And now he's one out away from getting out of this. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. First pitch on its way. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Kramer at second, Navarro at first, two out in the inning. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base, find something middle of the plate and let it rip. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Sam Cruz would be next. There's the good fastball and he can't catch up, three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Sam Cruz, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Nope. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Still a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss here. So it took him 31 pitches, but the side is finally retired. So a bit of a rocky start there as they're able to load the bases on him, but he's able to wiggle his way out of it. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Leading off the inning, Jason Sandoval. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big right. inning started. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Up, up, Popped him up. up. Galeski is over, and he puts it away for the first down. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And you talk about fitting a profile for a right fielder. Big surprise who brings the absolute bazooka to the game today. That is the right fielder. Don't look for anyone to test this guy. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. So digging in now, Brett Shepard, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Shepard. He's set and the pitch. There's a strike. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on deck circle. He was taken all away and he was going to zone him up. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. 
And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. The one two. And another foul ball. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's another one two. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nate Kramer. He singled his last time up. Nate Kramer. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. Fernandez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Up, up, Popped up. up. Well, that's going to get out of play and into the camera well. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. McCormick has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and Bowie is out in front, three to nothing. Stepping in, Lonnie Thorne. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Change up that catches the corner for strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. I mean, that's a well-executed curveball right there. Pitcher does exactly what he wants to do. Gets the hitter out on his front foot. Gets him out and around the baseball, and he still finds a hole. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen. If you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Now batting, third baseman, Duncan. Standing in now, Duncan Chan. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. 0 for one here in the early going. Nope. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Breaking ball in for a strike. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. In there at the letters 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Lifted down the line and left. And a diving try and left, but he can't come up with it. Beep, beep, beep. Cut, cut. And they'll get Nobody. a little closer Nobody. here as the run comes across to score from first. It's now a three to one ball game. You've got to applaud the effort there from the left fielder. It just didn't work out as the ball squirts by him, resulting in a double. That's the danger of leaving your feet in the outfield. This is line to left. 
But this is right to him in left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. A run on two hits and they leave one. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Bay Sox lead this thing three to one. Striding in once again, Jason Sandoval comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Two and one. left field Ramirez coming in he gets to it and makes the catch for the first out digging in Carlos Fernandez he was drilled by a pitch his last time up ready with the first pitch here it comes and that pitch catches the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. one, one Drilled one. right back up the middle. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Last pitch was a fastball tries to double up with the same piece of cheese and it gets turned around nice piece of hit. Stepping into the box Brett Shepard he's 0 for 1 thus far. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball but he wouldn't commit it's ball one. Oh and he had him guessing there and it's a ball and a strike. This guy has been throwing the ball so well and that's exactly why he has such a feel for that secondary pitch he can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. Reyes is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next will be the designated hitter Nate Kramer. Designated hitter Nate Kramer. From the stretch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts him in a bad spot. 0 oh, 2. Let's see if he can. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and Bowie is out in front, 3 to 1. Luke Farrell is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Bowie Bay Sox hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Luke Farrell claims the win out of the pen his first. Carlo Morales permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Here now.